I'm Amanda Howard of Amanda Howard Real Estate here in Huntsville, Alabama. And I have spent a long time going over these numbers here in April because we have a lot of news. So please bear with me as I read over these notes. I also am going to compile a good, great amount, I should say, a good amount of some wonderful information about the sales and stats that are going on for our month of April and our sales that have compared two years previous and the months previous. So just look below to get all those facts and figures. But I'm going to go ahead and do a quick summary here. Now, one point of interest that I want to make a direct quote from was the National Association of Realtors Chief Economist. He just stated that the housing market activity has clearly broken out at notably higher levels and is on track to see the best performance since 2007. Now that's on a national level because that is coming from our Chief Economist, economist uh, from the National Association. And that is a great indicator and opening line to really clearly show what is happening in our market. And our market is a stronger market than what we are seeing nationally. Now the housing market, it is constantly moving and improving, but what we're seeing is that our sales went up by just over 31% in April when compared to the month previous of March. However, when we look at the April's numbers in 2011, and this is not to say that 31% month over month is not a significant increase. That's obviously a great growth. But what we're, is more important is that see that the sales spiked by 69% when we're looking at the numbers from last year. Now, those were quite an influx, and that was due to the tornadoes that we saw in 11. But that is not to say do not take note of this record indicating uh, climb that we are seeing as an incline for our sales. Our median price levels have not budged much locally, but at Amanda Howard Real Estate, they definitely have. Our median price for our local market is at 160000 but our median price here in our own office sales, which were of a significant amount, is just over 200000 So we're really working hard here, and we are bringing you the dollar that you deserve. The demand on existing home sales has also risen. This is also a very good indicator of what is happening with our new construction, our existing sales, our condos. We have a lot of people that are always asking which is the best way to go when it comes to purchasing a home. Should I buy existing or new construction? Well, we are seeing that the single family home sales have accounted for 74% of those sales that have happened in April. That is up 66% from April last year while new home construction sales have accounted for 24%, which is down by 31% last year. Condos have accounted for the additional 2% that were remaining. Now, in, in terms of pending home sales, our pending home sales, we notice as a great indicator. We've seen a large increase in the number of homes or numbers of, that, of homes that were written on, those are what we call the pending home sales, in April, which portrays that we will have a strong indicator of May and June's closing numbers. Now we don't like to count our chickens before they hatch, but that is a good indicator to see that we should see a significant increase in our May and June sales as well, which makes us very excited and anticipating what those numbers are going to look like. The number of available properties or active listings that we had for April 2012, those rose by just over 5% month over month, but they've decreased by 7% when we compare that to last year. What that means is that the number of available homes and properties available for you to purchase is going down. We are not having that large number of homes available on the property, which is what hurts our economy and our local home sales numbers. Um, what value, I should say, not to home sales numbers. But when I'm thinking of home sale numbers, the sale number being the actual dollar that you, you retain or get for your home. Now, for our main numbers. We will have those soon. I'm going to get those to you as soon as we have them. There have been some delays in receiving them from our, our local association. But I do want to share with you some great news that when we pulled the numbers accumulated over the last five-year period, I thought you would find this very interesting because I sure did. And that is the April residential sales in our greater Huntsville and Madison County area, they've experienced a 19% increase when we're looking at the average of month, the month of April over the last five-year span of time an average of a 19% increase. That is fantastic, because that's what we want to see. And obviously 2006 is when we were heavily hit, but going from 2007 to our current number at an average of 19% up, is good numbers. Please look at the graph below. This is gonna be a great, um, it's a great graph and something great to compare to, or look back on. Now April represents that that's the fifth consecutive month that we have been seeing these improvements 
month after month for the, the past five years. Now, the best time to buy is when you see that the consumer confidence is on an upswing. The interest rates are at an all-time low. Every financial advisor you will talk to will say that is definitely when it is the best time to purchase. However, the interest rates are starting to go up. They're starting to creep up slightly. They're still at an all-time low, but they are going to be going up. So the best time to purchase is now. I know there's a lot of marketing reports and media out there, and you can check with just about every news source out there that is going to say and there's indicators that the, the interest rates are going up or they're going to keep going up. So it's a good time to, to take the steps necessary to move buying. If now is when you need to purchase or that you knew it was coming up soon, may, move that up to a priority and talk to one of your buyer specialists about that. Unemployment rate is decreasing. The economic news is very mild right now. So now is obviously the best time to, to purchase a home while we're seeing that we're having a decrease in inventory, the interest rates are going to be going up, the values are still out there, they're very, it's a great time to purchase. So it's time to go ahead and take that step, talk to your lender, talk to your buyer representative, and find what is the inventory that is out there that's going to suit best suit you in your home purchasing decision. So until next time, Feel free to give us a call and of course keep sending in those questions. You know we're here to bring you the reports of the latest news of what's happening and trending with our local market and our local news. Uh, be sure to note what's happening in our local market. We have the happenings page or events page on our blog here and we have a lot of great, um, great things that are happening uh, all throughout our Huntsville and Madison area. There's a lot of fun family events happening and most of them for free. So feel free to give us a call when you're ready to make that move or email us or visit our website. Our contact number is 256-799-9000. You can email us at info at amandahoward.com. And of course, our website is amandahowardrealestate.com. Have a great week.